Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to another Road Pilgrim video. Today we have a car accessory review for you. And for today's review, we are reviewing the new Trepo Eyesight Dash Cam. And um, for those of you who already know, Trepo is a, of course, a car accessory company. And uh, recently they have actually launched this new Trepo Dash Cam, which comes with a few interesting uh, and unique features that present some sort of an advantage over regular dash cam. So before we install the dash cam and we bring it out on the road to test, uh, let me just run through some of the key features with you. Um, obviously, being a dash cam that's coming out in 2023, almost 2024, this is uh, of course 4K compatible. So this records in 4K resolution, which is great of course. Um, and uh, it comes with super night vision as well. So um, whether it's day or night, this dash cam is going to be um, clear enough for you to get the footage that you need. Um, one of the things that I find really interesting that is probably specific for Singapore's uh, environment is the fact that this dash cam doesn't utilize a regular lithium ion battery it actually utilizes a super capacitor battery and what that means is that um, its heat resistance is actually a lot higher than a regular lithium ion battery um, dash cam um, especially in Singapore um, we don't always have the opportunity to park in an indoor parking lot so having this function um, really helps us because when we do have to leave our cars outdoors um, on occasion uh, you know that your dash cam isn't going to suffer and die um, just because it's been left out in the heat in fact it's heat resistant up to 85 degrees uh, which is pretty pretty high um, regular lithium ion batteries are good for about are good till about 65 degrees which is not low either um, but it's just nice to know that we do have that extra uh, bandwidth when it comes to temperature resistance so you never ever have to worry about um, your dash cam dying in the heat so that's really good to know especially in Singapore um, if you're watching this in Malaysia I guess that really applies to you as well because we have very very similar climates um, the other thing that I think is really cool um, is that it has a built-in GPS so um, Obviously, when you hook up your dash cam to your car, you also you will likely also be connecting your dash cam to your phone app. And there is a Trepo phone app as well. And later on in the video, I will show you how that kind of works. Um, but uh, once you hook it up to your phone, to your, to your mobile device, uh, should you unfortunately get into an accident or you do have some footage you want to pull out um, from when you were driving around in the day, um, the footage is actually packed to a GPS location, to a map. So you can actually pinpoint exactly where this incident happened, which I think is really cool, you know, whether it's, a, it's for accident reporting or whether there is some uh, requirement to provide some evidence or proof uh, to your insurer in the event of an accident. Um, I think this GPS location will actually go a long way in proving that whatever you said was true or accurate and I guess to an extent that helps to resolve or avoid any sort of dispute. Uh, so I think that's also a really cool uh, feature and from what I see here, this dash cam actually has a voice command function. So obviously right now we haven't been able to test it because we need to install it before we test it out. But if it is true and this dash cam does have a voice control function um, I think that's also really really awesome because sometimes if you need to uh, quickly snap a photo of a number plate in front of you or the number plate of a car in front of you all you need to do is just probably say something like take your picture and uh, apparently the Trepo eyesight dash cam will actually help you to just snap a picture and that should be readily and easily accessible through your Trepo phone app. Um, so I think that's really cool because then you don't have to actually sift through hours and hours of footage to find that snapshot of that number plate that you were looking for. Um, I guess you could take pictures of any other things as well uh, if you saw anything interesting that day um, but I guess that <laughs> taking pictures of a particular car or a number plate is probably the primary reason or focus 
um, that you would use something like use a function like that. Um, one last thing that I found really interesting is that um, in most regular uh, dash cams, when you install them, what happens is that you would, uh, if you want a parking uh, monitoring, so that means if you want the dash cam to stay on during the time that your car is parked, you would typically install a additional battery pack so that it does not drain out your car battery. Um, however, that is typically quite expensive to do. I think the battery co can cost almost as much as the dash cam itself sometimes, which I think is probably something that isn't so palatable with people. In fact, I myself, uh, I kind of avoided doing that. So I just kind of set my parking uh, monitoring to off. So when I turn off my car, my dash cam actually just turns off. Um, which of course isn't ideal, but I guess in Singapore setting that it's actually okay. I never really had an incident while my car is parked, but um, that's also because um, uh, my car park is a private estate. So uh, I guess it's a little bit less important but if you stay or if you park your car in a public car park um, I think you will probably want to have a function like that because you never know who's coming into your car park uh, maybe they you know accidentally reverse into your car or scratch your car and I think that's the kind of uh, environment where parking monitoring would be important um, but anyway I digress um, to, to kind of mitigate that issue um, the issue of having parking monitoring um, but at the same time having it to be cost effective is that if you get the eyesight dash cam and this is the t550 so they actually have two models uh, one model comes with just the front dash cam uh, or one or one of these uh, uh one one purchase options actually just a single dash cam um, this one is actually the full package which comes with the rear dash cam and it comes with a hardware kit as well so this hardware kit, nice simple box here, um, essentially what it has is just a series of wires that will connect directly to your car and of course you will get, you need to get the installer to do this, um, which is of course included in your purchase uh, when you purchase this dash cam. Um, what happens is that this hardware kit actually automatically senses when your battery levels are getting too low and then it will automatically kind of shut off um, the dash cam on your behalf um, and what this allows you to do is to have a little bit of peace of mind that of course the dash cam will be recording as much as possible but in the very very rare event that you do leave your dash cam uh, running while you're parked for a very 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 long time a uh, couple of days probably uh, your car battery will not actually completely drain out and you will be able to start your car when you do want to drive off again. So I think this is a really nice touch. Um, it's a good uh, compromise between having to pay a lot more money for a um, extra battery pack and um, between that and not having a parking function at all. So I think that's really cool. So before we get on with the installation and, 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 and to see um, how the dash cam functions, I'm just gonna quickly run through what you do get in the box. So you do get this box here and then dash cam itself is actually pretty cool um it's um it's nice nicely designed and uh what you do let me see i'm just taking this out of the box <clears throat> so out of the box you the dash cam comes like that so obviously this part here mounts onto your glass and then you have all your connectors on the right hand side here a including your micro SD card reader which is right here so this runs on the micro SD and then the case itself is a nice color black color very neat a neat cylindrical sort of package and it has a small screen on the side that faces you and I think this is a neat little screen because uh, some of the screens that you get on dash cams today are like quite big and I think they are a little bit the whole package just seems a bit intrusive in your face sometimes so i kind of like that this is um nice and slim or rather the shape is rather unintrusive so once you mount it up on your dash cam you could probably conceal it behind your uh rear view mirror so that from the driver's perspective you can't really you know it doesn't hinder your your um, line of sight out of the car as well um so yeah so this is 
the dash cam itself. There is a rear dash cam as well. Uh, the rear dash cam is simpler and runs 1080, uh, 1080 HD. So it's not a 4K camera on the rear, but that's okay because uh, I mean, I think in the first place, a dash cam is rather utilitarian. You know, you're not trying to shoot a, you're not trying to shoot a movie here. So uh, 1080 is more than enough. Um, and yeah, so the rear dash cam comes like this. So it's a slightly simpler dash cam. So the dash cams are all, um, they all work on a sort of swivel. So you can actually position them accordingly quite easily actually um, compared to dash cams which are unmovable. Uh, my old dash cam is pretty fixed so once you fix it then the angle is kind of stuck there um, which isn't really an issue but obviously if you wanted to adjust it you would have a little bit of difficulty because you would need to remove the entire thing from your glass whereas with these dash cams you can just adjust them uh, while they are mounted, which I think is quite nice. Uh, let me see. Yeah, and you see also, so the so, so so even the front camera is adjustable through this pivot here. So you've got a uh, some range of adjustment here, which I think is very useful. All right, so uh, without any further ado, I am actually going to head to the installers right now. I actually took the box home earlier because I wanted to do a little bit of unboxing and I wanted to share with you some of the features before we got to the installers. Uh, so I actually brought the whole box home earlier um, and uh, now I'm actually going to head over to the installers, pass them this entire package and get it installed in my car. And then after that, we're going to go have some fun with the thing. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about trying out the voice command function because I think that's the easiest way to kind of show you um, some of the features because obviously I can't actually show you on camera um, how the uh, heat resistance up to 85 degrees works um, but I should be able to show you the kind of footage that we capture on the dash cam uh, via the Trepo app and we should also be able to you know, try to find some nice pictures um, uh, take some pictures of cars on the road maybe we'll pick one specific model like say a Honda Vezo or a BMW 3 Series and then we're going to go around Singapore and try to take as many of them as possible um, but with that, let's go Alright, so now we have just installed the Trepo dash cam and you can see it up here so it looks really good in the car I think it's got a very nice neat shape um, and uh, it's got very clear displays as well uh, so on the back here you can actually see if your Wi-Fi is working you can see if your um, there's any issues with your SD card uh, and at one glance um, there's also the recording light here so you can actually see it quite clearly when you're driving uh, which gives you a sense of assurance that of course your dash cam is working so I've got a short 15 minute drive home um, thereabouts so I'm gonna um, I after this I'm gonna show you some of the footage I'm gonna pull out some of the footage uh, gathered from the dash cam and then uh, later on once I get back into my own car park what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to actually uh, take some images as well with the dash cam and uh, show you what the camera looks like in a lower light condition because that will be underground um, and of course in Singapore many of you would have access to covered car parks as well so very similar lighting conditions that you'll encounter uh, so I'll show you that as well uh, pictures taken uh, in a low light setting um, so let's go
all right guys so that is the footage from the treble dash cam uh, if you're interested in this product there is actually a link in the description box below which will bring you directly to the purchase uh, website uh, and then you can uh, inquire and make your purchases from there uh, if you have any other questions about the dash cam you can also leave them in the comments section below i'll be more than happy to answer those questions um, if you have enjoyed this video or you have found it useful in any way be sure to subscribe to the channel because we've got more of these types of videos coming up um, in the coming weeks as well uh, if not as usual please take care of yourself stay safe and we'll see you next time Bye bye